So this is Hercot Nature Reserve in the Midlands County of Worcestershire. It's on the eastern fringe of a growing town and is part of the community's perhaps more post-industrial heritage. On the lake here at Hercot is a small boathouse, which over the years has become derelict and maybe a bit of a public hazard. So the local nature reserve is owned and managed by the district council. Back in 2016, the council's conservation manager, Paul Allen, was charged with making the site safe for the public by tearing the old boathouse down. Paul had a fantastic idea. He came to the local bat group and he said, do you think this would make a good bat house? Well, it took a few years of getting quotes and whatnot together, but Paul was able to show it was about the same amount of money to tear the building down and remove all the rubble as it was to re-roof it and make it vandal-proof. So, in the summer of 2018, the Worcestershire Bat Group's volunteers came to Hercot Nature Reserve to take a closer look at it. Fortunately, the building was in such a state of disrepair that our surveys found no bats roosting in it. In the winter of 2019, work started to strip what was left of the roof and make good the timber work. Worcestershire Bat Group was really fortunate to win a Partners Group Support Fund grant from the Bat Conservation Trust, which match funded our own donation from the Bat Group's coffers to buy as many different bat boxes as we could get. We're also really grateful to Wildcare for extending a discount to the Bat Group for the conservation project. What we wanted to do was to try and create as many different microhabitats and roosting opportunities as possible. We wanted to support as many different species of bats through their full life cycle as we could. We knew the foraging habitat here was great, and we'd previously recorded about 10 species of bats using the site. But we've got very few records of bats roosting here. The one exception, and for me, what was one of the two big objectives of this project, was the recently discovered lesser horseshoe bat roost, not too far away from the site. When I started at Worcestershire County Council about 12 years or so ago, there were very few records of horseshoe bats in the county. Although we knew they were around, none had been recorded in the north of the county, in the district of Wire Forest. But over the last 10 years or so, as recording efforts have grown and perhaps as the species is recovering and extending its distribution and numbers, we've seen more records of these fantastic little bats appearing, including a maternity and hibernation roost discovered quite close to Hercot Nature Reserve. I was really keeping my fingers crossed that horseshoe bats might one day find the bat house and move in. We've designed it to offer really good conditions for both maternity and hibernation roosts. The other key objective for me was really one about public engagement and awareness raising. It's definitely done that. The project was in the newspapers. We've had local school children come visit. The locals ranger teams run regular bat walks here with good feedback from the local community. It's seen as a real benefit. If there's bats here, then we know the habitat's in good condition to support them which, for a fairly urban nature reserve, is a really good thing for people to understand. So the construction finished around late spring 2019, and I've been monitoring this bat house using a, a Wildlife Acoustics SM4ZC and Kaleidoscope software, which we purchased from Wildcare. Within about three months of us closing the doors and walking away from the bat house, we started to pick up recordings on that static bat detector, including from the lesser horseshoe bats. Now, lesser horseshoe bats have quite quiet and directional echolocation, so we can be very confident that these are recordings of bats inside the bat house, rather than just noisily flying past. And the recordings show that the bats seem to come back week after week, staying a night or two at a time over the last year or so. So they're clearly liking what they see. There are other species of bats found in here too. We've recorded brown long-eared bats, which are similarly very quiet echolocators. Pipistrels, both common and soprano. And we've recorded an enthusiast pipistrel on the site previously too. And we've had records of lysless and noctual bats. But my all-time favourite is definitely the lesser horseshoes. And having them turn up so quickly is really satisfying. Conservation works, given the resources, which is a message I think we should all take a bit of heart from. <laughs>